I can't get this closed because your girl a little thick in the hips for these pants. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a huge Pretty Little Thing haul. Unless you guys have been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard of Pretty Little Thing before. I've done a bunch of hauls with them in the past, and they're pretty much all over Instagram right now. They have the cutest clothes and super trendy pieces at really affordable prices. So let's just get right into this haul. I have a huge pile of clothes sitting over here, so this is going to take a while, but I have a bunch of pieces to show you guys, so let's get right into it. But before we start, I always say let's get right into it, and then I like have something to say. I just want to go through sizing with Pretty Little Thing. I do think their pieces run a little bit big so I do recommend when in doubt size down that's all I'm gonna say because some I usually wear a size 6 or a 4 but I always order a size 4 off of pretty little things sometimes even twos but then again I do like my clothes to fit really tight so yeah just some help with the sizing everything will be linked down below for you guys and let's get right into it so the first outfit I have to show you guys is just this sweatshirt and sweatpants combo it's just black and it says pretty little thing in the same print on the pants and the top I love how they put the logo like right here it's really cute I haven't really seen that before this is so comfortable guys pretty little thing has really really comfortable loungewear I live in loungewear because I work from home so this is typically how I'm dressed and then just throw on a cute pair of sneakers or slides and you look put together to like you know run errands I got a size small in the pants and a small in the sweatshirt sweatshirt fits me perfectly but I do kind of wish I sized up in the sweatpants they fit me but if you want a baggy look like look they're super like tight on the booty so if you want that you know baggy look I should have gone with the medium, but they still fit really well. And the bottoms are just jogger bottoms. Also from Pretty Little Thing, I picked up this little half zip sweatshirt. I've seen this all over Instagram and I was like, I need to get my hands on it. It's so cute and comfortable. So it has a little collar and a zip, so you can zip this down, zip it up, whatever. This comes in a bunch of different colors as well. I actually picked it up in this really pretty light pink. I have it in my room. I'm gonna go run and grab it real quick, but I actually wore it to the fair the other day. So if you saw my Instagram story, I was at the fair. That was what I was wearing. So here is the pink one. These are both in a size small, and I love this shade of pink, especially with the black detailing. This is just really pretty, and again, this comes in a bunch of different colors, so I'm probably going to end up getting them in every single color. I picked the wrong day to wear a ponytail because all this taking on and off clothes is like, my hair is a mess, honestly, but y'all can't see it from that far, so it's all good. But I also got this little t-shirt that is the same font as the sweatpants. I purposely got this to like match these pants as well. So I have the hoodie and I have the t-shirt and their t-shirts are really comfortable. I mean, honestly, all their loungewear, again, I've mentioned this like 6,000 times. Super comfortable, and again, this comes in a bunch of colors too. I got this in a size small, but here's the t-shirt. I'm telling you guys, this is how I'm dressed 99.9% .9 of the time. Honestly, getting this top on just took like 30 minutes because Mel and I had no idea what we were doing. I had to look up a picture because the ties didn't come like tied up, so it was a bunch of like strings, but I figured it out. So here is the next outfit. So this is just like a little floral crop top. And honestly, it's way too small. I got it in a US 4. I definitely need like a US 6. Um, just one size up would fit me a lot better, but you can just see the, the girls are like pressed, like really tight. But overall, I really do love this top. It's really pretty and I got it to match these cargo pants. And these definitely need to be steamed, but they're just your basic cargo pants and they have a jogger bottom. Here is the back. I really love the color of these pants. They just really need to be steamed, but these will go with a lot of different outfits. And they have like pockets, if you guys can see, with like silver detailing. But yeah, here is the next outfit. So this next piece I picked up is so me. It is just this jersey bodysuit. It also has a thong bottom, so if you're wearing tight pants, it won't give you panty lines. I'm not wearing a bra with it, and I feel like it does give a decent amount of support that you don't really need a bra with it. I'm sure if I wore a bra, I would definitely like look more flattering. And I think you can wear a bra with it. I'm trying to think if maybe the strap would show right here. Um, I mean, I guess you could do strapless, but I don't do strapless bra, so I can't really give you that advice. But I really do love this. I got this in a size US 4. And guys, I'm so sad about this one because this is really cute. It is this matching set. It's 
the snake skin top with the matching pants and the pants don't fit me. I can't get this close because your girl a little thick in the hips for these pants. But unfortunately the pants don't fit me. I don't have to reach out to them to send me this in a bigger size because I really do love the print. This is so cute for a night out with like bronzy makeup. So I for sure need to pick up these pants in a bigger size. The top is still really nice. I could wear this with some jeans, like high-waisted jeans tucked in. The bottom of them, they're just like kind of flare, but I literally cannot like close them. <laughs> So Pretty Little Thing was actually able to send me these pants in a size up. So these are a US 6. The ones you guys just saw was a US 4. And these fit me so much better. And they look great on. But they are a little bit see-through. So you can kind of see my gray panties through them. So definitely make sure you wear a nude pair of panties. Next piece I have to show you guys is this dress. But I don't really know how to roll up the sleeves. And I've got time for that right now while I'm filming this. But I really do love this. It's just a little button-up dress that you zip it up in the back. And then it has this string right here that you can pull to like cinch the side, which is really like a nice sexy touch. And I just need to figure out how to like roll the sleeves, steam it, wear proper undergarments. Like I'm not wearing a bra again. I need to wear a bra with this. I need to wear some shapewear. But once we do all that, this will look really good on. This is in a size US 6 too, by the way. This next item is definitely a little sexy. It's really low cut. But I really love it. It is this leopard print dress. You guys all know my love for leopard prints. I kind of have a problem. I have too much leopard print at this point. But I definitely would wear a safety pin like right here. I'd still show some titties. But I would put a safety pin right here just to kind of... This is a little too much for me. So I would just like kind of close it right here. But I love this dress. It is long sleeve and it has an asymmetrical hemline. I'm trying to back up as much as I can. But see how it's short on this side. And then this side goes all the way down in like a maxi dress. It's really silky and pretty. Here's a back. My hair looks like an atrocity in person, let me tell you. So this fit right here, it is a little jacket. This should be folded out like this. I don't know why it keeps on flopping over. Um, I probably need to just like steam it or iron it down. But it is just the jacket and matching pants. They're both in the same material, both really, really stretchy. And it's just a really nice, sophisticated little outfit. I mean, this is nice for like a professional meeting or for going out at night. I mean, you could show a little bit more titties if you want, if you wanna make it more like girls night out. The top is in a size US four, pants are in a size US six. So here's a little 360. Let me show you guys the bottom of the pants. I almost fell over, but the pants are just like the straight, like they're not flare, but they're not skinny either. This outfit will look really good with a pair of like ankle strap heels and with your toes out. But yeah, that's it for this outfit. I didn't get the matching jacket. I'm guessing they didn't send it to me because maybe it was out of stock. But it is this dark blue denim skirt and it's supposed to come with this jacket as well. But I didn't get the jacket so I'm not gonna try it on for you guys. But here's what this one looks like. I'm gonna see if the jacket's back in stock so I can get the matching jacket. Because y'all know I'm a whore for a matching set so I need the matching jacket. So PLT heard my request and sent me the matching set. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. Um, the skirt fits me perfectly. It's a size US 4. And then the jacket, I believe, is a US 4 as well. And I definitely wear it unbuttoned with like a good like push-up bra underneath. I think that'll be a really cute look. But I absolutely love this piece. This is the last outfit I have to show you guys. And this is honestly the complete opposite of summer. This is a very fall outfit. But I have been so obsessed with the chocolate brown color. I feel like it's such an underrated color, but chocolate brown has been catching my eye in like purses, shoes, clothing. I just really love the color, even though it's not really that much of a summer color. But here, let me zoom out. I feel like it's like too zoomed in. But it is this brown chocolate turtleneck and these leather pants. I love these pants so much. They are cropped, they only go to your ankles, but they're this faux leather, like chocolate brown pants. I definitely need to get these tailored. If you guys can see, they're way too big, like right here. This should be a little bit shorter. And they feel a lot more expensive than they are. Chocolate brown in general, you guys are gonna definitely be seeing me in chocolate brown a lot more often. And oh, y'all, this hair. Do you guys see how bad this looks? I need to redo my hair. ASAP, but thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Links to all the pieces will be in the description box for you guys. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye, everyone.